Ted Hanger, thanks so much for joining us. We're here at the NEDO event in Celsius again. What's the setup like and what's your perception of it? Well, it's the first time I've been here since we this new building, but I've walked in here and it's just absolutely incredible. It's one of the best venues I think I've ever come to. I walked in yesterday and thought, wow, what have they done here? This is absolutely incredible. And I do feel, you know, the more that England do, the more times they use this. It's, people see this venue, it's, it's incredible. It really is. What do you make of the grassroots dance scene at the moment and the BDO as a whole? Well, the, the, the BDO are growing. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of changes. I mean, we've got Des Jackman who's taken over. We've got different venues coming up now for the world and the world masters and what have you. And I think. Change, a lot of people don't like change, but I think change is good sometimes. And at the end of the day, you can only give people a chance and give everything a chance. I think it goes forward. And as regards the young kids, you're looking at some of these young lads here now, they're so up for it and they're brilliant. And the more we can encourage them, the better and stronger the BDO is going to get anyway. And uh, you were at the Blackburn last week for the qualifiers. What did you make of that venue and, and the experience? Yeah, I mean, that was one of my first tournaments back from, from being out for a while. And it was a great venue. I had a good day there. I lost in the final to a, to a good guy who beat me, John Scott, and then he went to the TV stages. But I think everything went perfectly there as well. And like you say, you know, you, you, it's, we've never had venues like that before, but it's amazing. You can use them and make them work for you. You can make the product which we're trying to sell, which is BDO Darts, England Darts, so we can make it go forward. Circus Tavern and the Indigo are two pretty good venues, aren't they? Well, yeah, I mean, I've, at the Indigo, I've done a, quite a few exhibitions there, and I know there's a couple of lads that are down there to open them. It's a fantastic venue. It's, 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 it's basically built like Lakeside, you know, it's not Lakeside. Well, a lot of people are a bit disappointed it's not at Lakeside, but at the end of the day, you've got to go with a change. And that place will create its own atmosphere, it will, and that will become one of the biggest stages in the world as well. Uh, fond memories of Lakeside, of course, for yourself. Yeah. I guess that evokes some, some quite nice memories for you. Well, yeah, I mean, I've been in three world finals, you know, semi finals, there was great times there. I had great times when they were a lot responsive because we had so much fun with them. Bob Potter, I love Bob to bits. I mean, I, obviously, I think Bob's going to be here to the wheels, not there no more, but what a nice man, and everything that he's done for the BDO through the Dark World Championship, him and his family should be really, really proud of what they achieved there. But like I say, time's to move on now, and hopefully, you know, this works for us and gets better and stronger again. What are your goals for the rest of the year? Well, for me now, I mean, the season's coming to an end. Um, I've had a bad year, I lost my father and what so I've had to bring myself through that. But now I'm looking at playing every tournament I can play in, and hopefully by this time next year I can be sitting top 16, top 8 in the world again. I have the ability, it's just down to me to do it. And just a quick word for your sponsors? Oh, yeah, I mean, women, I love women. They're just, Everything they do for me, I was struggling with my darts, I made a new set of darts, you know, the darts that we use now are really making me play a lot better. Everything that Ian Flat does there, is, for me, is, is absolutely amazing and I can't thank women enough for what they do for me and hopefully a lot more for the future from them as well for me. I love them to bits. Ted Hangy, thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you ever so much. Cheers, That's mate. great. Cheers. Cheers.